And greetings, Good Shepherd School families. Uh, here's our devotion for Wednesday, April 15th today. Do you ever forget to say thank you sometimes? Yeah, I think we all do. Um, that's what our devotion is about today. It's about um, not forgetting to say thank you to our Lord who provides for us every day. Let's start our devotion out with a, an opening prayer, a prayer of thanks, and I ask that you pray with me. We pray. Dear Lord, you give us everything we need, but we often forget to say thank you. We thank you now and ask you to help us to remember to give thanks every day for all the gifts you give us. Most of all, we give thanks for the gift of eternal life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Do you sometimes get uh, thank you cards or maybe you've written a thank you card or maybe you've received one in the mail? Um, what are some, I guess, uh, reasons why you would receive a thank you card? Most likely you did something nice for somebody and they just want to uh, let you know that they didn't go unnoticed, that they appreciated it. Uh, maybe you attended a, a graduation party or a birthday party and you gave them a gift or not, and but maybe just your presence there, or maybe it was the gift that they just want to write a thank you note uh, for your gift or for just coming to the party. Um, it's a very thoughtful thing to do, isn't it? I think you'd all agree that a thank, a thank you note is a, a, a really a, a good way to let people know that you appreciate, um, you know, something that they've done for you. Uh, but, you know, sometimes we do forget to say thank you. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, when we pray, we're really good at asking God for stuff. You know, we're really good at that. We have that down. But then when God answers our prayers in the way that we would like him to, eh, sometimes we forget to say, hey, by the way, Thank you. I've been praying for that for a long time, Lord. Uh, I've been praying for that bike, um, you know, for a year, and finally I got it. Thank you, Lord, for answering my prayer. Um, you know, sometimes we just kind of take what uh, we almost uh, treat God like a genie sometimes. We ask him for stuff, and then we get it, and then we move on. Uh, don't forget to say thank you. Uh, that's what our verse uh, that we're going to base our devotion on today is about. Very, just one verse. Uh, not a section of scripture. Psalm 118 is a real good, uh, if it's if it's real good uh, chapter, a psalm that uh, you want to review maybe for uh, a devotional of some kind. Uh, and one of the good uh, verses in that one, the very first verse, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. We're going to talk about the story of the 10 leopards today. And you see there were 10 leopards and they had spots and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm getting word that, uh, that that was not a Bible story, the 10 lepers. Oh, that was, that. that's right. Thank you. It was the 10 lepers. Uh, what is a, a big difference between a leopard and a leper? Big difference, except for the spots. Um, what is a leper? A leper is someone who had a skin disease known as leprosy. All right, leprosy was just an icky, bad, nasty skin disease that uh, was, you know, that you would acquire and, you know, it would, it would do some nasty things to your skin. And it was very much thought that this was contagious. Uh, and so a lot of times these people were kind of cast away from the rest of society because they didn't want to get it. They didn't want to get the leprosy, right? And so, um, you know, they felt very much... Um, you know, pushed away from other people just because, you know, partly because of the way they looked, because of their skin. Uh, another reason is because people just didn't want to get what they had, the leprosy. So a leper is someone who had leprosy. And there is a story in the Bible of 10 lepers, those who had leprosy, and you see them there, and they're asking for God to heal them of their, their terrible disease of leprosy. And um, when Jesus saw them, uh, he touched them, and they were healed. And they were so happy. You see the guys in the background just jumping up and down. They're, they're healed of their disease. They can maybe, you know, be with their loved ones again that had been, you know, shunned them aside because of their disease, and uh, they, they celebrated. Um, of the ten, however, you see the one came back to say thank you, and, and Jesus said to him, Weren't there 10 who were healed? Where are the other nine? 
So only one out of 10, that's a uh, 10% of those who were healed came back and said, thank you for uh, what Jesus had done for them. They forgot. Now, Jesus, God hasn't healed us of leprosy. We've never had leprosy, but um, he, what he does is he provides for us just like he provided and helped the, the lepers, all 10 of them. Only one said thank you, but he did help all 10. And he does the same thing for us. Whether we say thank you or not, he gives us our basic needs. He gives us food. He gives us water. He gives us shelter. He gives us clothing. And that's it, right? Nothing else. That's all he gives us. No. He gives us much more than that. He gives us above and beyond what we need. Uh, and he gives us that whether we thank him or not. So him giving us all of this is not, does not, you know, it, just because we say thank you or not. But, however, uh, he, he does so much for us. Every day he provides all of these things. But not only does he give us these basic things that we need every single day, the most important gift that he gives us is his son. He gave us his son on Christmas, uh, that baby born uh, that would live a perfect life, that would die on the cross and take the punishment of all of our sins, that would then rise from the dead, defeat death, eventually would ascend into heaven and then would instruct us to go and make disciples of, of all nations. So, Sometimes we do forget to say thank you, but let's, you know, maybe make that a daily habit of not just praying for stuff and asking God for stuff and to do things for us and to work things out. And, and you know, we want to hold him to his promises uh, to, to do all these things, but let's make sure, and maybe it's, you know, whenever we pray every day, maybe we just ch uh, chisel out a little bit of time, maybe at the end, maybe in the middle, maybe in the beginning, to just say thank you for all the blessings that he's given you that day. And we can, we can still ask him for more stuff. Um, you know, if it is uh, along, if it goes along with his will, his will will be done. But, um, you know, just don't forget to say thank you to our Lord. And why don't we do that today? And then hopefully this sets a nice habit for all of us going forward uh, to just make sure that we are not forgetting to thank God for the blessings that he's given us and not just always ask him for new things. All right, so why don't we pray together? Let's all say this together. Heavenly Father, as we look around us, you have once again shown us all your blessings. We know that you have provided much more than just our daily needs. We thank you for so generously giving us your Son, our Lord. Through him, you have showered us with the blessings of forgiveness, a purpose in life, and eternal life in paradise, no strings attached. For all these blessings, may we truly be thankful, dear Lord. Amen. Let's, uh, when Jesus was asked, um, I'm sorry, this is Luther's morning prayer. We'll pray this next. And uh, in this prayer, this is the prayer that Martin Luther wrote. And uh, it really just gives a nice um, prayer for us to start the day with. So let's pray. I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this night from all harm and danger. Keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. Into your hands I commend my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the wicked foe may have no power over me. Amen. So notice in that prayer that, you know, we start out with a prayer of thanks. And maybe that's a, a just a good tip for us as we pray. Start out by saying thank you for all the blessings that you've received. Uh, and sometimes we sometimes things that we just take for granted because we get them every day. Um, but yeah, he, he's kept us, he kept us uh, from harm. Uh, he's He kept us from danger. Um, that's something to say thank you for. And then, you know, the rest of the prayer, the Luther's morning prayer, we ask him to continue to bless us. Uh, and we know that he will. So now children go in peace, live in harmony with one another, serve the Lord with gladness. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And let me hear you say amen. Beautiful. All right, so uh, God's blessing, uh, blessings on your day this Wednesday. Um, another uh, two more devotions are going to be coming at you this week, so Thursday and Friday.
uh, of this week. So um, don't forget to say thank you for all the blessings God has, uh, has given you and make that a habit in your daily prayer life. And uh, we'll see you later.